How's it going everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is David Fritz and in this video you're going to learn exactly how to produce house music. We're going to do this whole tutorial in FL Studio but even if you want to do this tutorial in Ableton or Logic you can easily translate this into your DAW. So I want to start this house music track with this specific piano loop which sounds really really nice. Assign it straight to channel 20. So let's just add it straight into the playlist here. I want to start this track with first of all the kick and the bass but with a high pass filter so let's just look for a good kick. Something like this but we need to compress it a lot so always bypass the plugin to be sure that it's actually worth it to use this plugin. Now let's try to baseline something which has a saw wave and a sine wave, like a mixture. It has to sound really dirty a little bit. <clears throat> it's pretty much like this kind of square distorted wave and this is like a saw wave, again distorted. This is the setting. I will put it into the project file. You can purchase this one. Let's add a little high pass filter now for the beginning because we want to start this track as an extended version. So we add a high pass filter for the first, let's say, nine bars, like this. And now let's add a hi hat pattern, something very simple. So I found this specific hi hat pattern, which makes sense perfectly. By the way, if you haven't liked this video yet, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel because 79% of all the people who watch my videos are not subscribed yet and you might be one of them. So definitely make sure you don't miss out any future Tech House production or house music production tutorials. Already pitched it up one semitone because sometimes you need to listen to it carefully. Like, does it really make sense? Sometimes you need to like pitch up heights as well or bass lines or whatever your samples are using. Let's see if you can hear the difference. Let's start this piano loop in the beginning with a low pass filter, otherwise we don't want to have it straight in your face, we want to introduce it slowly. So everything we got to do for that is just enable a high pass, low pass filter, double click this button here, press on create automation clip, and then we have straight away this automation clip, we're going to do it like this, so start slowly, start slowly. Take bass away. By the way, if you are now interested in learning house music production more in detail, I'm offering one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions with all the people who want to know more about house music production, tech house, mixing, mastering, music theory, whatever you want to improve on, because I can imagine that it's quite difficult to watch all the YouTube tutorials and try to improve as much as possible. But the progress is really slow and you need someone who actually can guide you through the whole process, who's done this himself. And that's exactly why I'm offering those one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. To know more about this, go in the link in the description and message me private over Instagram. We can talk a little bit about your goals and see exactly what we can do and how I can help you with achieving your next music production career goals. What's really typical for house music is because it is a very repetitive genre, you need to make sure that every time there's a new phrase starting or like something is different, like the bass line comes in or that vocals coming in make sure for example do things like taking the kick away adding snares or adding like a snare roll adding a drum fill something before just like a bar before the new element comes in make sure to change something maybe you take something away you had a high pass filter or you take the kicks away like this one here groovy baby so now I want to add some sort of background vocal, something like a male ad libs, like something really short. So I found those vocals here, those ones, and those ones. Now I create a little pattern which sounds like this, where the vocals are basically exchanging themselves. They're like, here's a sound, there's a sound, like they come in after each other, but in kind of a random way, but also in a way that it makes sense. Stick with me because you're going to know exactly what I'm doing here because this sounds pretty lame on itself but in the whole context it makes a lot of sense. Good, good. 
told you. By the way, if you're interested in getting this specific template in FL Studio, where all the channels are already assigned, the bass channels, the vocal, the automations, everything is already colored. Also master automations here with instrument one, two, three, four, perfect for house music. On the mix channel, you have 50 channels already assigned with ready to go mixing change, high pass, low pass filters from FL Studio. To get this specific template, make sure you go in the link in the description and purchase this template on tunebetter.com for under $10. It's gonna save you heaps of time. You're gonna make it really, really easy to not like having to load up every single plugin every single time. High pass, low pass filters. I have also one separate video where I'm explaining exactly how I built up this specific template. So if you wanna, don't wanna purchase it, you can also build one for yourself and change it up a little bit to check out this video right now. But definitely buy this because it's just gonna save heaps of time. Now I wanna add another piano loop, something what I'm writing myself, something like really beautiful. Now let's add a little breakdown and add some sort of guitar loop, which sounds really nice, which is a bit out of context, but still makes sense in that way. And because we're in the breakdown here, let's just like decrease the volume of the drums a little bit to make a build up because if you take energy away at the breakdown, you can then create a build up which is gonna increase the energy again, which has a bigger impact. So let's first of all here, add an automation clip to the drum bus, which is this automation here. Slowly bring it down. and bring it slowly in again. After 12 or 16 bars, we add another drop where the bass line and the kick comes in again fully. 37, let's maybe add a snare roll as well before the drop hits. And now let's add a crash as well when the drop hits. Yeah, this sounds good. And here and there, let's add like an extra kick, like this boom, 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 something like this. If you want to get this specific project file with all the samples, make sure to check this out as well. The link for that in the description. You can purchase this template for just $15. You can use it for yourself. Yeah, this is really nice. It's really groovy. I really like the idea. I finished this project now. Let's listen to it one more time and make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel to not miss out any of my future Tech House production tutorials.